All right, let's go back to the Lake Region. We had an update for our viewers on that yes, front. Yes, the Lake Region economic block is now a legal entity after Busia County ratified the LREB bill on Friday. The 14-member counties are now legally bound by the block's agreement amidst uh, concerns by some members on the proposed uh, up, uh, commercial, put up a commercial bank. Mm -hmm. And Laura Otieno has been following that story. Um, Laura, it's good to be speaking to you um, this morning. Perhaps you could tell us um, the development and what this means and what we, what we expect uh, from that block in terms of when will operations begin. Well, Zinzi, what that means is now that uh, the 14 member counties are bound legally to uh, uh, do everything that uh, will be passed by the Lake Region Economic Block member counties. And of course, on top of that, uh, top of the agenda of that uh, block was uh, the setting up of a regional commercial bank because uh, the statistics released in 2014 indicated that three of the member counties in that block were suffering uh, serious uh, poverty indices where uh, their average poverty percentage was at 50 percent meaning that half of the population across three counties that is Kakamega, Bungoma and Kisi counties were living below a dollar a day. Now what uh, the uh, block uh, objective one of them was to make sure that uh, poverty is uh, the, uh, completely rooted out of uh, of the um rather poverty is completely eradicated from the 14 million residents within that block so uh, one of the measures that they put was the setting up of a regional bank which required every member county to contribute 200 million shillings towards a kitty that will enable the block to buy a controlling stake in one of the commercial banks to enable residents access loans to set up uh, small and medium enterprises but then some of the member counties in that including Yamira County which had already passed that bill local leaders in that county had indicated that it is not right for every county to be compelled to be uh, contributing 200 million shillings, yet each county has unique developmental needs. I mean, uh, w what they were saying is that uh, maybe Kisumu requires tourism as a boost, or maybe fishing for that matter, and perhaps, uh, hypothetically speaking, say Kericho County needs a boost in agriculture or something else. So they felt like it was not uh, in good taste for every county to be compelled to contribute 200 million shillings regardless of their revenue collections they were supposed to give that money to enable the block purchase a controlling stake in a commercial bank so but now what that means is that every county is required to give that money and of course they were also uh, mentioning that agriculture was one of the sectors that they wanted to revive of course the sugar debate has been ongoing in this region for quite a long time most of the sugar belt or rather the five uh, pri uh, the five uh, public millers in this uh, uh, that are facing privatization lie within the lake region economic block and so um the block is basically facing a challenge to make sure that sugarcane farmers, which is a very uh, a potential cash crop in this area, that sugarcane farmers are well taken care of. And yesterday, the sentiments by agriculture CS Mwangi Kunjuri that uh, farmers will be paid as of uh, uh, next week on Monday uh, will be quite interesting because, as it stands right now, uh, farmers are uh, indicating that they have no confidence in the government on matters sugar. So it will be interesting to see also how the block will be handled matters agriculture especially concerning sugar and tea because Kericho County is also covered under the Lake Region economic block so we are looking at sugar we are looking at tea we're looking at rice and how those cash crops will basically be used to the advantage of the 14 million residents covered under the Lake Region economic block but as it stands right now the one third threshold has been met and so what remains is for uh, the uh, blocks agreement to be presented to the devolution CS for gazettement and as for from that immediately after the block is gazetted then they will be starting operations legally regardless of whether member counties uh, uh, who have issues will uh, will rather be forced to comply to the terms of the lake region economic block so it will be interesting to see whether the counties which were against the 200 million shillings uh, pool will be uh, complying to that and what that will mean for the future of the block Okay, um, thank you, Laura. Two issues here. First, you're saying that now the, all the counties will have to be part of this block and they'll have to contribute. First of all, how do you ensure that every county is able to check or to give 200 million shillings? Uh, how do you push that through the county assemblies, bearing in mind that counties like Nandi have been opposed to the entire idea? And then number two is after you respond to that question.
Laura, if you can hear me, I'm asking the question. Uh, there are certain counties that are opposed to uh, the formation of this block because of they could not they could not agree on the structure. But now you're saying that every county will have to contribute 200 million shillings to uh, the block itself. So how do you, where do you get this money from? Bearing in mind that there are locations there are already budgets that have been drawn for the counties. How do you get the county assemblies to uh, pass such such kind of uh, legislation to grant this money to the block? Well, Sam, I am not sure I got your question quite correctly, but if you're asking about the 200 million shillings, what um, Nyamira was one of the counties that was very vocal, where the Nyamira senators, uh, Okongo Mogini, was very, very defiant about the contribution of 200 million shillings, indicating that residents of Nyamira have... Uh, deficiencies in matters uh, infrastructure and schools and hospitals and therefore it will be a long shot for them to be contributing 200 million shillings towards buying a stake in a controlling commercial bank and yet that money can be pulled uh, can be used for other developmental uh, agenda that will benefit the residents of that particular county so uh, he is one of the leaders who are very vocal on that but then uh, Kericho County has also raised concerns about that money but right now as it stands they are compelled because they signed an agreement that as soon as the one-third threshold is met, that is at least six counties pass the uh, ratified the Lake Region Economic Block Bill, then they will be compelled to abide by all the terms of that bill. So it will be interesting to see whether they will be um, uh, complying or rather they, they will be contributing towards that kitty and uh, of course uh, in the backdrop of that today at uh, the second day of devolution the ministry of Devol uh, the of devolution and the sal is expected to uh, present uh, the national policies on uh, regional blocks so what those policies will be dictating and of course the backdrop of uh, the lake region economic block and the bittersweet journey that it has been experiencing it will be interesting to see what member counties or rather the position that member counties will take considering they already Already signed that they will abide to all terms of the block as long as the one-third threshold is met, regardless of the concern of the concerns they have, Sam.